Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I want to go ahead and kind of cover a new character that I've been playing around with. Now this character is literally just made for fun. It's just going to be for bossing. The goal is not to do Guardians or Shaper or Uber at Ziri. It's just a character for fun. Uh, and we're going to see exactly how far that character can go. So I decided to play around with EK. Uh, EK got one of the new huge buffs with the Ring of Blades jewel, which essentially allows that EK to be shot in a Nova without using a Nova support gem, um, which there is none, but there's like a Sire of Shards. Now this character is going to be a CI and or a low life, and it's going to be using... It's going to be using a, uh, a bow for projectile speed and potentially a bow for additional survivability which I'll cover in future videos if I go more in detail and in depth into this character. Um, so just to cover what the leveling gear consists of because uh, it's actually really easy to level. I've got my 7 league step which you totally do not need. You, know, you can just replace this for Wanderlust. I've got a Tri-Res Life Belt. Uh, Dodre's Tenor or whatever the fuck they're called. They just give um, spell damage. The Caspi doesn't work. Or Caspi doesn't hurt you because they're using mines. Uh, totally don't need these, but they are a nice damage increase. I've got a Lehoop because it was just laying around, so a Lehoop is always very nice. Uh, Proxis because this thing costs retarded amounts of mana. Uh, Karui Ward just for the movement speed and prod speed. A Tabula Rasa with EK Minefield uh, Remote Mine Pierce Control Destruction Trap and Mine. We are 100% Pierce on our character. I'm using a Quill Ring for the projectile speed and a crafted quiver that essentially just has two resist life and prod speed and a gold room helmet. Um, the reason why we chose Pathfinder is Master Herbalist gives us poison on hit with our flasks uh, and poison synergizes very well. Poison and physical with tons of flasks so by going Pathfinder you can get Master Alchemist which gives you immunity status ailments which is insane because you don't have to worry about shock, freeze, or ignite which is pretty cool. Uh, so anyway let's go ahead and get into some of this. I'm moving towards destructive apparatus right now, which is pretty nice. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and I guess just like go to Battlefront and show you guys a little bit of how it works. I'm not using any links right now because the mana is really intensive uh, and we'll be working on finding or fixing that later. So for strong boxes, you basically place some EK mines and then you pop it and then you go where the mobs go and then they die. I don't want to fight those mobs anymore. I can hit almost like three screens away with this. Um, probably one of the fastest leveling characters I've ever had. I remember when we were just leveling, we would just like essentially group up all the mobs like this. And then I'd say, watch the XP bar. And then it would go up. It's a lot difficult when you're 51. But like in Dried Lake, it'd be pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, so far the character's been a lot of fun. The single target damage is not nearly as bad as I thought it would be. Uh, I know I am using a 6 link and whatnot, but it was terrible at the beginning and then just the poison scaling started to kick in and BAM! New tower. Also the reason for Pathfinder, um, one other cool thing is Pathfinder offers a lot of clear speed and I haven't really played anything in the clear speed meta. Um, so I'm pretty curious to see how this would work. Pathfinder gets a lot of flask effect which works for a lot of unique flasks. Uh, works for like sulfurs and uh, what is the other one called? Sulfur flask and witch fire, which both give increased damage um, modifiers and increased damage double dips for poison, at least until 3.0. And this is also probably the last time I'll get to see how insane the poison mechanic is um, because they are nerfing it, so we'll see exactly how bad the nerf is. Like a shrine? It feels good. Now, remember, even though you're using Minefield, because I know this question pops up quite a bit. Actually, didn't I already do, like, all of this? Hold on, am I retarded? Did I do this yet? Team? No, I didn't. Okay, cool. Uh, even though um, Minefield does take, like, a huge hit to your, your damage, it allows you to stack multiple ones, which allows you to do this. And then you can see the poison will kill the target off. Uh, so I think Minefield is pretty cool. Um, I also am excited because I do get more mine laying speed. And I wanted to initially play traps. The problem with traps is if you're playing traps, um, you have trap cooldown recovery to worry about. You have the placement of the trap to worry about. If you want them to go off instantly, you now have to sacrifice two jewels for cheap construction. And on top of sacrificing two jewels for cheap construction, you also need to go into uh, and get a sunblast belt, which sunblast doesn't give any ES for CI builds. 
Um, and we have like, you know, crystal belts now, so, or baited breath even, baited breath is OP. On top of that, um, there's something else I forgot you need to, oh yeah, uh, you cannot pick up the skill effect duration, uh, here, which would scale like Vol Clarity, which we'll be running later on, uh, Vol Discipline, Poison Duration, and whatnot. So the problem that persists with that is by using Sunblast and two cheap constructions, you essentially like kill all of your duration, and by picking up skill effect duration, it just destroys it and you don't get the instant grenade boom boom traps anymore, uh, which is kind of a shame. Oh, is this the what's her face? It is. Get out of here. I think it's really cool, like, I guess, because, um, I was thinking about playing this as a life-based character, and then you can use, like, cost freeze, right? I think it is. The, the chest piece that gives you, like, plus one curse and free poison against cursed targets. I don't have to be anywhere near the monsters to kill them, which feels really, really cool. Like, I literally don't have to be anywhere near targets, and I can still poison them effectively, uh, which I think is awesome. I don't know where I'm going. Does anyone else ever get lost when they're just questing like this? This is... <laughs> where do I go? <laughs> I don't like the PoE minimap. Team, help me. Oh, I think... Is it one of these layouts again? I think it is, where it's like you go all the way backwards. I think you have to go all the way backwards. You know, there was a once upon a time where I would actually race and I would stay, like, number one for, like, a good two hours on the ladder. I don't know how and or when those days ever happened, but they did happen, I can assure you. One, two, three, boom! It's so clean, man. There's like no lag involved at all. Oh, I need to get those. That's that's awkward. Uh, let's just do that and let's do like, whoops, 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 misclick. Did I just do that? Oh, it's two. Oh man. Okay. So how about I just um, whoopsies. All right. No problem. Easy. You may, you may go. You may go. Okay, let's go. Let's go check out Docks. Docks is like a a much more nice open area. What is it? Or I guess you know what I can show you guys. I want to show you guys Ledge. Ledge is like an awesome. Ledge is like super beautiful XP. I know it's level forty two, but uh. Check to see like how it clears in ledge. It's fucking awesome. It's so... I love it, man. It's so rewarding. And the character will be pretty defensive. Uh, I was thinking a cultist. It was either going to be a cultist or it was going to be Pathfinder. I was leaning more towards a cultist... Or, sorry. I was leaning more towards a cultist at first, and I actually made an occultist and got it to, like, level 10. And then I thought to myself, a cultist is so, like... I don't know. I've already played an occultist to 100. I need to, like... I need to branch out some more. So I decided to play Pathfinder, which I know a lot of people play as well. But I feel like... Not many people play Pathfinder Mines. I don't know, I could totally be wrong there. It's like a big question mark. Um, but I think this character is going to be a lot of fun. And defensively, it should be pretty okay as well. Uh, I plan on running, like... I think I'm going to stick to one curse for now and see how it goes. So I'll just start off with, like, Blasphemy uh, Temporal Chains. And uh, I'll try to run, like, Blasphemy Temporal Chains, Discipline, and Grace. Because I do get, like, tons of evasion scaling. Um, which should be pretty cool as well. I may even use a Heretic's Veil, I, but I mean, I'm probably only going to run one curse, so I don't see the point in Heretic's Veil. Although I will have a Witchfire Flask as well. The problem with Witchfire is I don't know how I'm supposed to reliably pick up another plus one curse. The thing is, though, is since I'm not going low life right away, I guess the option for getting a plus one curse Cheula is possible. And I think that plus one curse Cheula shouldn't be that expensive. Like, maybe like, what? 100 chaos 200 chaos or something um that would probably be like pretty huge i don't know if i'll ever like be in range for my witch fire or my temporal chains though uh which is part of the reason why i wanted to play pathfinder is because i'm scaling flask effect and flask effect doesn't 
it doesn't care where you're standing, right? You could be in fucking North Korea and, and like, shoot a fucking EK that hits all the way to the US, and as long as your sins are birthed and had serious promises on, everyone's fucked, right? Uh, so I think that's kind of like... That, that was kind of like one of the, uh, the whole appeals behind Pathfinder, is it doesn't discriminate where you're standing. Oh, here we go, here we go, boys. Press D. Feels good, man. Yeah, so, so far I'm pretty excited. I think this character will be a really fun uh, strand clearer and or just general mapper as well. I think it'll be pretty safe for a lot of endgame bosses, like for maps specifically. Uh, just because if I have room to kite, I mean, I can pretty much do essentially whatever I want. Like these, these EK things, like I'm going to stand here. Okay, actually, let's see how far it is. Is it a screen? I'm going to put an EK there. Did it miss or something? Am I like that bad at this game? I know it hits that far. Okay, so yeah, it hit like up to here. It just all depends on the way the EK like projectile shoots. Like all of these should die from this guaranteed. Yeah, it went like up to here. So the the EK is very like it's kind of it's kind of funky the way it shoots out. Uh, but anyway, that's kind of just what I wanted to give you guys a rundown with um, while I play around on this character some more. Yeah, when I was talking about evasion scaling, by the way, I've got like all of Voidberry to pick up along with all of nullification and i could even grab like influence i'm right by charisma so i can grab charisma as well and if i need to i can connect in this way through harrier and two point down here for evasion like this boom done anyway that's pretty much going to be it for now like i said i just wanted to keep you guys updated i hope you guys enjoy the <clears throat> the short and small little content video if you did please feel free to like share and subscribe and remember, you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash pox. Uh, just as a quick note to people as well, my uh, guardian is not dead at all. I was just playing around respecting him a little bit because I was testing out stuff for this character. But I am indeed up to 1,000 chaos, which means we can afford a shavs again. So that'll put me up to like 14k energy shield or so, probably maybe closer to 15k. Um, and then we can get back to leveling this character. I might put Shaper on like a big hold for now and just go back into general mapping so I can just accumulate wealth and have a lot of fun because I've already done quite a bit of Shaper uh, this league, but we'll see. I'm not stopping it just yet. Uh, just kind of some future thoughts and whatnot. Anyway, like I said before, hope you guys have a wonderful time and I'll see you guys all tomorrow. Take care, everybody.